This is a video for revalidating an enrollment record using the Minnesota Provider Screening and Enrollment Portal, otherwise known as MPSE. Revalidation is a process that verifies that enrollment information is current and credentials and requirements comply with state and federal laws. Minnesota Healthcare Programs, or MHCP, is required to revalidate providers at least once every five years. Some providers may be required to revalidate once every three years. Providers who are currently enrolled with MHCP receive their revalidation letters in their PRVLTR folder in their minutes mailbox. Additionally, a provider's enrollment record in the MPSC portal has information about their revalidation due date. MPSC also shows all enrollment records that are currently in the process of revalidation. In our video, we will demonstrate how an organization can revalidate an enrollment record in MPSC. Individual providers who are revalidating their own enrollment record Will follow the same process. Note, organizations revalidating an affiliated individual provider should watch the video Managing Existing Affiliations to an Individual Provider in MPSE to complete the revalidation process. To begin, we will log into our Minutes account. To open MPSE, we click on the link for Minnesota Provider Screening and Enrollment Portal in the left navigation in Minutes. This opens the Manage Portfolio page. We scroll down to locate the Revalidation section. Note, if there are no revalidations due at this time and no revalidations currently in process, this section will not display in the portfolio. We click on the link titled Manage Enrollment Records Due for Revalidations. This opens the Enrollment Records with a Revalidation in Process page. We scroll down to the Revalidations in Process section to find a list of enrollment records that are due for revalidation or are currently undergoing revalidation. Each enrollment record listed will have a revalidation status that indicates what stage of the revalidation process it is in. There is also a revalidation due date that has the date the revalidation process started. To start a new revalidation request, we locate the enrollment record that we want to revalidate and select Create Enrollment Record Request. If the Create Enrollment Record Request is not available, we check the Request section of the Manage Portfolio page for any active requests assigned to this enrollment record. Only one request can be in draft or pending review status for each enrollment record. We do not have a request in process for this enrollment record, so we can create a request. This opens the Enrollment Record Information page. On the right side navigation menu, there is a list of MPSC pages that are indented below Enrollment Records. We review all the pages in this list, as well as the Owners and Authorized Persons page, which is also on the right side navigation. We update any outdated or incorrect information on these pages if needed, to comply with revalidation requirements. Note, the list of links that appear in your record may be different depending on the enrollment record type and how the portfolio is set up. Each page in the MPSC portal has a help link in the top right corner of the page. We can click the help link to get detailed information about the fields and options on each MPSE page. We use the Continue button on each MPSE page 
to save our changes and continue to the next page in the list. When all pages have been reviewed and updates have been saved, we submit our request by clicking Submit Request in the right side navigation menu. This opens the Submit Request page. We can review and fix any errors here before we submit our request. We don't have any errors, so we click the Attestation boxes on this page and click the Submit for Approval button at the bottom of the screen to complete our request. This opens the Submission Approval page. Note, there is an option on this page to complete a survey before continuing. We encourage you to provide feedback so we can continue to improve the MPSC portal. We click the Download All Documents button to download a zip file containing a summary report of the revalidation request as well as a copy of all documents included in our request. We click Home to return to our Manage Portfolio page. On the Manage Portfolio page, we scroll to the Request section to review the status of our revalidation request. For definitions of the different request statuses, we can review the MPSC User Manual. We click the link for the MPSC User Manual in the right side navigation menu. In the table of contents, we click MPSC Basics and select Request Submitted and Next Steps. A list of request statuses and outcomes are listed on this page. In this video, we have demonstrated how to complete a revalidation using the MPSC portal. If we had questions about the revalidation process, we could call the Provider Resource Center at 651 431 2700 or 800 366 5411, or we can attend a weekly MPSC questions and answers session. We find the link for these sessions on the MPSC portal training webpage. The Department of Human Services offers various training opportunities, including other on demand videos and online sessions. You can register for the online sessions by visiting the MHCP Enrolled Provider Training page on the DHS Provider website. Check the MHCP Provider News and Updates for announcements on changes to programs and information about new learning tutorials when they become available. Thank you.